The future is a fiction which we're all writing together. So, what will the world of 2050 look like? Today we have a changing climate, an expanding population, rapid urbanisation, stagnating economies and polarised politics. How will we face these challenges? Will we benefit from medical breakthroughs and soaring standards of living? Can we establish an equitable economy? Can we regenerate our natural systems? No one knows for sure, but we can imagine. What if we just carried on as we do now? A will to succeed and to progress humanity, but with a half-hearted concern for the climate. In this world, people's quality of life has continued to improve, but at the expense of the Earth. Technology has insulated people from extreme weather and rising temperatures. People first is the modern mantra. A universal basic income helps those with the lowest paid jobs afford not just what they need, but most of what they want as well. People have long forgotten how this land looked just 30 years ago. Imagine instead that humanity decided it had already lost against the climate crisis. In this world, mass resource consumption continues as climate concerns are suppressed. It's everyone for themselves. And the 1% have done much better than others. The 99% is less satisfied. Climate refugees gather around one of the 1%'s protective habitats. They only enter to work their minimal wage jobs. Countries and corporations fight over what little resources remain. Water is scarce and farmland mostly infertile. The UV rays are far too strong and people long for the safety of the domed worlds. But what if we put the needs of the planet ahead of those of people? Much of the world has now been rewilded, allowing ecosystems to regenerate. As if entirely untouched by humanity, species have replenished and natural resources are respected. The climate crisis is no more. People have limited access to this natural paradise. Instead, Humans are confined to densely populated areas. Humanity was forced to make space for nature. In this world, a decline of mass agriculture has led many people to rely on synthetic food. And there is no waste. Not everyone is happy with humanity's place in the pecking order. Many are tired of the congested cities. They demand access to the countryside. But no government would risk another climate crisis. Or perhaps humanity can find a balance between a healthy society and a healthy planet. In this world, people give and take in equal measure. They're aware of their impact on the planet and do everything they can to minimise it. Society runs on renewable energy. And there is no waste, as the circular economy has been fully embraced. Some like to cycle to work, while others prefer to take carbon-neutral public transport. Leading companies have introduced new technologies to help heal the Earth extracting toxins and plastics. Everyone has access to learning 
and more people than ever have received a full education. Literacy rates for all genders are equal and higher than they've ever been. Commerce works well for both business and consumers. Society and nature in harmony. What will 2050 really look like? Our story has yet to be written, but whether intentionally or not, we, humanity, will decide our future. Whether we follow our most selfish interests or participate in a balanced world. What world would you like to live in? Which story will you write?